It's happened again. It's happened again. Tottenham Hotspur. It's happened again. I've just watched the most nuts game I've ever seen uh, for West Ham in a long, long, long time. It was West Ham free, Tottenham free. I, I can't even really break it down like I normally do in into certain incidents. Tottenham come out the blocks. West Ham were playing way too high up and we was getting exposed. Obviously, Song got the first goal, but when I showed him into his right, it was a bit of a foregone conclusion. Um, Harry Kane had a nice goal as well. Obviously, I think that midfield two of Suchek and Rice was struggling a little bit. Um, they couldn't get back quick enough. They couldn't set themselves. And obviously, Kane nutmegged Rice, and then he put it through, I think it was Ogbonna's legs, and, and he scored. And 2-0 down, I'm sitting there going, it's over, it's poor, it's abject. The game plan's wrong. I still believe the game plan's wrong. I can't get away from that. Um, and we really struggled, and, and Tottenham obviously got that third. Uh, Creswell beaten with, uh, from the air by Kane, which is a foregone conclusion as well. It was way too easy. We were seeing a lot of the defensive errors that we'd previously seen from West Ham in different systems. I mean, it just seemed like one of them games where, you know, Tottenham had the right idea. They changed their pattern of play a little bit. They were playing it over the top. Kane was getting the ball all the time in that 10 roll. There was so much space for him. And that constant midfield overload was a real problem for West Ham, and we just couldn't get to grips with it. And in all truth, we didn't get to grips with it for a long, long time up until we got that goal. And even then, the argument is we never really controlled the game or dominated the game. Um, they brought off on the second coming of Gareth Bale that missed an absolute sitter, as you'll all remember. Harry Kane hit the post. Um, Spurs could have been 4-5 up. But West Ham, through whatever, managed to keep in, keep in the game. We sat a little bit deeper in the second half at points. We were set up a bit more. Um, we did create chances throughout the game. And that's the one thing I will say. You know, I did think it was a bit too gung-ho. It was a little bit too... Um, at times, we were trying to be way too offensive against the Spurs team that were going to suck up pressure and play over the top. But we did create chances. Four now was the biggest sitter I've ever seen in my life. Um, and I was like, that's it. That's it. West Ham are done. We're not going to get it. Let's move on to the City game. Lo and behold, though, we get a free kick. David Moyes is special. Subject is set pieces. It's a great cross from Creswell, and it's a fantastic header from Balbuena. And then you're thinking, all right, it's a consolation goal. We'll just take that, um, and we'll move on to the next game, maybe rest up. He brings on Yarmolenko, and he brings on Lanzini. Um, and I'm thinking, well, how are they going to change the game? How are they going to get into it? Tottenham are going to love that. You know, players that aren't quick won't get in behind. Forget that, man. You've got Yama picks it up on the right, plays it across to Soufal, who, who crosses it in. And Davinson Sanchez, and we know Tottenham's defence is notoriously dodgy. It's got errors left, right and centre. Heads it into his own net. Beautiful. And then I'm thinking, 3-2, can West Ham do it? And it's going on and on and on. And I'm like, that's never going to happen. And then, oh my God, the best goal I have seen. The best goal I have seen. If anyone that's watched this has played football... Doing that in a game on the 94th minute with a technique you need for that, and with a player with Manuel Lanzini that, in fairness, most of us have written off, didn't think could do it, pulls out one of the goals of the season, comes back to him on the edge, he has space, and he just cuts across it, and he puts it, top bins, finished over. Free all at their place, and they thought they'd done it. It was the craziest game of football I've seen in so long. They dominated for 20 minutes, and then West Ham come back in the last 20 and pulled something off that I'm not even convinced is real still. I don't know what happened, um, and I can't get over it. Listen, there are days for analysing this, you know, and I've said game plans and subs, and we, we all have it. You cannot, you cannot analyse this, you know, the way Mourinho set up, the way West Ham set up, the changes, the goals, the, the pace of the game. Everything that I tried to preview, everything that I spoke to Spurs fans about is completely out the window. We've absolutely done them at their own gaff once again. It's too easy for West Ham, living over there, rent-free, you love to see it. Come on, you irons!